Conversation. I've been in their ear, I'm telling you, it was an amazing thing. We just uh, talked an hour there and, and didn't believe it had passed yeah, up by. Time. But uh, at any rate, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Mr. Joey Wiganen had contacted me uh, and said he'd like to analyze our current uh, telephone usage and, and cost. And he said, I've got some friends that can save you guys a lot of money on your services, I think. So today, we have uh, proof in, in hand that it can happen. <laughs> Mr. Appleton uh, uh, probably is uh, more the marketer, but uh, his associate is, is more in touch with our area. Uh, of their products, and I want them to, they were with uh, DJJ Technologies, and um, I want them to kind of make a brief presentation yeah. to the, our council today and show us what could happen if we decide to accept some of their services. And I've reviewed it, and it looks quite intriguing to me. And with that said, how about you take a, a portion of our meeting today, okay? I will. And, and First of all, thank y'all for making time. Uh, the mayor shared that y'all have some big things you need to discuss, and it's much bigger and more important than what I'm going to cover with you. So I will be try to be brief, but I want to be here to answer any questions you've got. And uh, but I do think you'll like what what I'm what I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to go over some just some notes here uh, with you guys and. Um, yeah, how we got involved, our company is an is a end-to-end communications company. And what we do is we help businesses and government uh, agencies with, with their communications needs. AT&T chose us to work with their government accounts in Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. They just gave us North and South Carolina. And they did that because we've been doing some work with them for a few years, and they saw how we handled our customers during the, uh, I guess, the selling process, but more importantly, post-sales process, giving a support structure to help after the fact. So that's why we're here. We've been going across the state helping a lot of the cities, counties, and universities with their communications, evaluations, and, and needs. So when we when we got the bills, we noticed the internet bills weren't in there, and we understood that Freedom uh, Communications done a lot of good stuff here, putting the infrastructure in here, which is great. So we're not even addressing that. Normally we do that when we go into to these agencies and help with that discussion, you know, help tie everything together. So all we looked at were bills for basically your plain old telephone lines at all of your locations up here, okay? And I'm gonna put my eyes on here and sort of talk through it, and I'm gonna go quick. I'm not gonna go through all of the, well, I didn't put all the benefits on here. I just listed some that I thought would be important, but I'm not gonna even go through all of those. But currently, the city is paying around, I'm gonna, Rough it out around $2,100 a month. That's this number right up here uh, under the current situation. And what you're getting for that basically is 28 phone lines per month. Okay? Technology has changed a lot, and there's some things that can be done to, to provide you guys with a, a much better uh, system that will connect the city and save you money. So what, what we're recommending to the city 
is that you look at installing what's called a hosted voice system, which will run right over the Freedom Network. It would include, it would give you 40 new telephones. Now the neat thing about that is it's going to tie all of your locations together, okay? So if you're sitting here at City Hall and something needs to go down to the fire station or whatever, you can just, you can either four digit dial down there, like an extension, just like they were in the same building, or you can, if a call comes in and you know, hey, it was supposed to come to fire and rescue, you can transfer that call over to them. So it's going to, number one, it's going to give you a lot better communications between the, the locations. It's going to include all your all your lines, and I shared with the mayor, you'll get to keep the same numbers that you have today that people know when they want to call the city hall. It gives you a lot of other features, but I understand that there's a, a, at least one member that's on vacation right now, yeah. and uh, one was sick or one one's, one's not feeling well. One of the real uh, Good features. Has anybody ever used a call, what's called go to meeting or? Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. That that service is about fifty dollars a month per service. With this, every user in the on the system has access to what's called Amazon Chime, which is even easier to use than go to meeting. But we literally could be sitting here, and the member that can't be here because they're sick could be dialed into this call and they could be seeing everything that's going on. Just like the presentation the mayor was on earlier, he was looking at everything over the computer. They could be there and if the person at the beach or wherever they are on vacation wanted to be here, they could do the same thing. <coughs> or I told the mayor, what if the guy on vacation said, you know, our lady, I don't know, uh, what if, uh, what if uh, they said, you know, I'm on vacation, I really want to spend time here. Those calls are, can be recorded. So, and you can sh email that over to him, it's just a link, and he or she could go and click on that link and watch the whole meeting live. Or not live, but the recorded meeting. Not only the voice, but the video. Point being, this really helps the city, and, 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 and it's, it's a service that you're seeing more and more counties and cities and universities going to because it ties everything together. It provides y'all with 24 by 7 by 365 support. All the maintenance is included, so you're not going to be, if your phone system had a problem today, you probably got to pay somebody or you're paying a maintenance contract. That goes away. This is included here. I was kidding with the mayor. I said if he got mad about uh, something and he hit his phone and broke it, all he does is he calls a 800 number or emails an 800, uh, emails a support number. The next day a phone's going to show up and plug it in. So the support is that simple. We're going to be here to install it. We're very good at this, so it, include, and it gives a smooth transition. Now I've said a lot. The most important thing of all this, though, is right now you're paying about $2,100 a month. We're going to be able to do all of that and, uh, and, and, and for right at $1,040 per month. So you're going to almost cut that piece of your bill in half and go from basically having just plain old telephone lines to having all these lines plus 12 more because you're going to have 40 instead of 28 available if you needed them and all these all the equipment I just talked about. Because we work with AT&T, this proposal that we gave you guys is a is we we represent multiple products and services. So, you know, if if for some reason you have a knowledge of a hosted voice system and you said, "Really, I like the idea, but this is the, this is what we prefer to have." We can do that. AT&T has a hosted voice solution on state contract. And that gets into the purchasing and stuff because if you can purchase things, a city and county and universities, you can purchase things right off of a state contract and, and it's easy to do that. That price would be a little bit more than this one. But we came in here because we can save you a lot of money. This is what we're doing for a lot of the cities and counties across the uh, southeast and 
Kevin, just so you understand, even though we're working all across the Southeast, uh, he is the state director here. He's responsible for the state. So you have somebody who, who has, you know, authority and, and responsibility for this area. We have a lot of people on our staff, but Kevin is the guy here. And I just, you know, it was important for you to meet him too. So I tried to go fast. Hopefully that's fast enough, but it probably I went so fast you may have some questions. The, the page on the back, just so you know, it's sort of the audit we did. It, th those are the bills we had and where, what you're paying for what services. And so, um, you know, the nice thing for the, for the city, you can make sure that, you know, we do the audits as we go in to help people understand what are all their bills that they've got and what does that consist of. So, any questions? I don't know enough to ask him. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Angela, Angela has pretty much uh, used every phone service in every department. She's been in the police department, now she's city clerk, and, and she wears lots of hats. She normally would have questions at this point. Mm -hmm. Just one that kind of popped in my mind, would um, the numbers stay the same? Like yes. The we, different departments we already have, yes. their number would mm -hmm. still be the same. We would port those numbers. We handle that. We'll do that and make sure that happens. Would, would all of the uh, all of the people that's working for the city would they all be put in together more together than what we've got now? Yes. What I you know I guess what I'm talking about. Yeah. The water department all got all of their numbers. Everything comes in. They don't know probably what I don't know this, but what's happening there because everything's different. Yes. But this would all be together. Is what it would saying. be almost as if everybody was in the same building. I like yeah, the idea everybody's on the same system. Being yeah. able to just hit her extension yeah. and right. he could yeah. transfer a call to you yeah. or you could just... Yes, yeah, see, he's a fire department. Then you got the right. water department, sewer, yeah. you know, garbage, everything. I but think that easy dial is going to make us feel more together. Uh, if you dial four digits, you'd be talking to somebody that you want to talk to, whatever their station is. And, I really like that concept. So would that still require, like, we have a lady downstairs that answers the phone for here. Would she be answering it to distribute it all over? You, the city? That's how. That's up to you guys. Like, so if you've got numbers that people know to call there, that can stay the same. Okay. But a lot of people don't know who to call. They just know they need to talk to somebody in the city. Yes. The nice thing is, the lady here, when that call comes in and, and they say, hey, uh, What's the number to the fire department? She could say, well, this is the number, but I can transfer you. And she'll just transfer the call right there. It's a, it's a way to take care of the constituents in a more efficient so it way. It better service to the people. Yes. Yeah. And there would be a little bit of training on the, on the new system. Yeah, and, and we, we would do that. We would do the training. But you can, and I'm not suggesting you do this, and I'm not suggesting you don't do this. You can set up auto attendance to where a call comes in and you can say, Thank you for calling the city of Hamilton, you know, for the fire department or for, for the city hall, the mayor's office, press one, fire department two, and it would then transfer that call. You can do that. And that stuff will work with you on, you know, and, and, and what we do, again, I go back to why AT&T chose us. A lot of people will come in and train you and then they're going to say, I hope, good luck. And we don't do that. We, we, you're going to sign off on your being trained when you tell us you're trained. Because what happens a lot of times when people come in, they think they want it set up a certain way, and after they do that for a little bit, they go, well, could we do this? Yeah. And we're here to, we, that's what we do. That's the kind of things we do above and beyond that separate us. So, and how much money are you saying this is going to save us money or it's just more competitive? No, it's going to say it's going to cut your cost for the services in half. In half. From well, by forty nine point five percent. Yeah. So you'll be essentially saving twelve thousand a year. Yeah. Well, what are you saying it's going to cost us to get to all of this stuff put in? There, that this is part of the service. We have a, a one a, the installation and training is yeah. seven hundred and fifty dollars, but then you save, you know, a thousand and. Forty. I mean, a thousand and twenty-one dollars a month. 
but I, but it's on that other document. Yeah, we have a seven hundred and fifty dollar install fee, which is very inexpensive for what what, what we're going to do to be here to set that up for you. And how long have you been in business doing this for other towns? Well, we've been in business for over twelve years. Okay, and and the business, all of us that have been in that business, have been in the communications industry since back. We were laughing about technology and. We were talking about him in the banking industry, uh, you know, and, and when the fax machine came in. I mean, we've been in the technology business since the early 80s, okay? But this, our business has been here for 12 years. AT&T asked us to get involved with the government's uh, organizations this year, and we've been doing that now uh, this year. And because of what we're doing, they keep adding states to us, which is good, you know? And this is a 36 month term like yes and after 36 months you can continue you, you can continue oh i'm glad you brought that up with this service you know like on your uh computer well on your phone every now and then if you've got an iphone you're going to get something that says uh you need to update the newest version you have you get those versions with this everything's updated for 36 months if they come out with something new it's updated okay after 36 months, you can continue, you can take it out, you can uh, re, you know, renegotiate if there's something later and greater. I can assure you when 36 months gets near, we're gonna be up here talking to you. I mean, hopefully we'll be here before 36 months, but we're gonna be up here saying, hey, here's some things to think about. The one thing I do want you to, uh, that as you think through this, and we can talk to the people at Freedom, but a lot of the cities, because having internet is how people function so much now. You know, that's how people do business. And a lot of the cities are, are putting in backup networks, okay? So that if you have one network goes down, you have a failover. Does that make sense? You have a redundant network. It'd be like a backup generator. It's like a backup generator. We probably have saved enough money that you guys would need to make a decision that says, hey, let's just save, let's save the money and improve our efficiency here. Or you may say, look, that backup network is something we have to look at. And that's not taking anything away from Freedom, but Freedom, can't, they're, they're the same company, so they can't give you a redundant network, okay? we can look at getting you a redundant backup network for probably less than you're paying today for the so for less than two thousand dollars a month we can also probably add you a backup circuit in here to give you a, a that you know a redundant network so that if this if, if freedom went down for some reason uh, you would have another circuit that would kick in to keep the city operating and you said it best it's like a generator but that's what I'm saying to you guys is this is great and it is a, a cutting your bill in 50% but in half but we probably have enough in there if you guys want to look at a backup network I can get you that price real quick so. one day um, first contacted me and I heard from Mr. Joey Wigginton he has relatives that are from north the north part of this county and um, he's like home folks almost and he said I've got something good for you send me some bills and we'll analyze them and, and we'll come show you how good it is and um, I knew Joey's brother and I made connections right away and and he in turn got with his folks that he knew that had this product and Mr. Appleton contacted me. I said, I think the council would want to listen to this. And that's why he's here today. Yeah. Um, we um, tried to put him on the front end of this because we knew we had some other stuff we need to cover today. And uh, we don't have to make a decision right now. We, we just wanted to hear him out. And uh, if you want him to explore some other avenues and, and reprice this to us, he's willing to do that. Yeah. If you if you know of another service, I, I, I think the biggest thing is uh, if I know legally y'all can buy off of the state contract that's in place for the state. 
the price will go up a little bit. Okay, and I can get you that price if you need that. There may we we uh, I asked the uh, the mayor about the purchasing process here. And he had the right answer. That's going to go through our uh, legal, and you probably have a good understanding of that too. You know, there are some places we go to and they have the authority as long as the price is going down and it's a service, they can move forward. If you need, if you like this and you want to move forward, but it needs to come off of the state contract, I need to reprice it with the AT&T uh, hosted voice system because it's on the state contract. This one is a, we, we've installed a lot of these systems and it's less money, and that's why we brought that in here. That's what we do for most of the city and county governments, because this, and it has some things that we think are beneficial with the uh, the Amazon Chime, which is like the go-to meeting and things like that, as part of the service. I think also there are, there are just three addresses on here. Mm -hmm. I think there's a fourth, maybe, fourth location. I saw some other addresses, I think, we have. I, did you look at those addresses that's on that sheet? I, I think we've got maybe one or two uh, yeah. locations that didn't get included. I don't know how the billing, the billing may cover all those places. I, I don't know if the fire department, the police department, the library, and the city hall, and uh, maybe the water department. I don't know how the billings come. This is just the bills they got to review. Yep. was from those three addresses. I know mine comes here. I never see. Okay. okay. Uh, 736 yeah, Mill Street South, 371 7th Avenue Southwest, and 350 Baxter Avenue West are the addresses <coughs> that the bills they reviewed. That'd be the library here and police department. Yeah. I'm sure the Europe. street departments combined. Okay. Yeah, yeah they it's probably. Do you have a separate system from the city? No. It's, oh. The bill comes i never seen it. It's included. We, might, we might have covered everything. Okay. Well, what we would want, what we would do is if that's the case and you guys said let's move forward, we're going to want to have a final because not only about the bills but the physical location we need to know because we got to make sure there's internet there and then make sure we got all the phones because right now we've got, what was the count we came up with is 40 in the entire system. What's your address? Uh, 561 6th Street Southwest. Okay, so we know that that, that location's not in this group. Yeah. Um, street department's not in here. What about the street shop and the water department shop? Would we need to list those or are they just build under? I think they're built under this. From what I, I think they're in there. We've I got the phones at other locations. We need to know that. Okay. Physical location. Okay. Uh, now, and by the way, as long as the, we put 40 phones because that's the information that uh, Joey had gotten. If it's less, you're, it's going to go down a little bit. If it's more, it's going to go up a little bit. It's, it's roughly, I think, you can do the math, I think it's roughly $25 a phone per month. But that includes everything. That's, that, that, that's the maintenance, the warranty on it, everything, the support. So if well, we know we, we looked at 28 phone lines, now we're going to 40 phone lines yeah. and saving 49.5%. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Not on and we're interconnecting our city and while we're doing that. We're one trunk line or one one switchboard, so it could, it could yeah. uh, forward a call to any of these yes. places. And, and or we can't do that vice now. versa. Yeah. I tell you what, if I could if I could get your uh, either a card or an email address where I can email you and then I'll work with you to make sure we have all the locations. You can just write it on there wherever. Okay, I think Amy is the one, didn't she? Okay. Yes. Get is that this? who I need to get I'm from? Been yeah. doing that. She's my okay, I'll, I'll get with her as I go away. Okay. Let's, let's do that and uh, I may want you to come back to a council meeting the night we put you on the agenda and see if we want to vote to do this. Okay. But I appreciate the presentation today, and if y'all have other questions, if y'all have other questions, you need to ask them right now. Otherwise, uh, we'll need you to come back uh, at a future date when we get it short up. Yeah. But uh, I love the idea of saving 49.5% on the bill, and uh, $1,000 a month gets my attention.
Well, and, and what you get for doing that is just, you know, it's it's a lot. Yeah. You know, so so we appreciate y'all's time. Yes, it sounds like a lot better system than what we've got. Yeah, we're just not used to coming in here. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, neat, the neat thing about, one of the things we really enjoy with the work of these accounts, to date, knock on wood, every city, county, university we've gone to, we've been able to save them because of the technology changes and things that have happened. So, you know, we like that. And, and uh, every message is a good one. You know, we're, we're giving them so much more and cutting their costs. So, generally it's we could use 40 to 50%. And <laughs> we're saving, they get their attention. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You know where Amy's office is? I did. Yes. You just sure. ask her. Sure. She's the one that got all this information together. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. I Good appreciate it. Thanks so Thank much. You. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Excuse me, ladies. Good to see you. See you. Thank you. Bring your karaoke tape next time you come. We'll sing it. Sounds fun. He's a singer. Okay, two for up. All right, and this just come up last week, just out of the blue. Uh, I had Ron Lucas from the gas office said, "Hey, we got a truck coming up that's in pretty good shape, real good shape. Uh, if you might be interested in it." So I went and looked at it. Uh, we've got a what we've been using for our station truck around the station, pulling the fire safety trailer and stuff. It's a '97 model truck that's just fall it apart. Seat belts don't work in it, and I really don't want to let nobody drive it unless we're just pulling it to the elementary school and back. And uh, he's, He said, we got a truck, 2007, 2008, I can't remember what model it number it was, but they're asking $8,600 for it. It's a four-door four truck? It's a four-door truck. It's four-wheel drive. We could use it multiple occasions on different stuff. Uh, I've still got budget left in the equipment even after the other one. I did, it just come up out of the blue. And I How many miles this guy on? The one at the water at the gas this, office. This is here, yeah. Uh, it's less about. than 170. I can't remember right off the top of my head. How much they want? 8,600. No, that, that's, <clears throat> how much is on that? Are you asking how much is on the 07 or 08 or out? The, oh, one, you're the one, one I'm looking at down yeah, there. Yeah, one you're buying. Yeah, it's, it's less than 170. I don't remember exactly. The one you're buying is it? The one I'd like to look at. 170,000. Yes. And, and the reason that truck we got down there when Harry Williams retired from the gas office, we got in it. <clears> it's a 97 model and it's just, it ain't got good seat belts in it. I think the driver's side is the only thing that halfway works. And it's, I'd like to sell it. Put it on gov deals and sell it. Yeah. Well, I, now listen, I'm not against what you're talking because I know what you know what you mean, what you need. Right. Well, what, what are you going to use this truck for? We're going to use it at the station to pull the fire safety trailer. If we go, you we, need, we you need, need a heavy gear, something that four wheel drive, yeah, to do that. Yeah, because we got. Some reason I'm saying, saying I know for a '97 model that you could buy one with less than well, hundred. Well, no, 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 no. '97 is one I want to replace. All right. Yeah, but you're going to get it. What, 2007. 2007. Yeah, and, and this is it's a work truck. Yeah. It's not nothing fancy. It's a work truck, and that's what we need. Yeah. Well, but what what I was wondering about though is the hundred and something hundred. Yeah, well, I, that's I about four hours. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> but you ain't going to get one less than ten thousand dollars. No work. Well, I, I that, you know the reason I was asking. I'm not. It's got you know, good tires on it. I checked uh, it out. Uh, I it looks like they sell it to you cheaper now. Well, I wish make them off. They not. You they know, started out at ten thousand. Well, they hadn't sold it. <laughs> they hadn't sold it because it's got one hundred seventy-six thousand miles on it. They offered it to us, and I said, "I'll just have to go see." Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd make them an offer on it because it's going. Now I'm not being hard. I, I understand. Get back, I understand. But, but it's going to be hard for them to sell something for that price with that many miles on it because that many miles is wore out. Just like the one you've got, just about you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. But you're gonna have problems. Yeah, problems. You, you're gonna have problems. It's, it's hard to sell a user to that anyway. Yeah, they can't Lord, get yeah. money. No, huh? they can't find. Them. Yeah. And well, ain't nobody in business gonna buy something with 176,000 miles. 
So I would make them up. That, you know, I, was, I, 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 <coughs> I just. I can uh, go back to them and see if they'll come off of it. Yeah. You know, but just, you know. You know, I don't. I don't well, know you see, you just we're, we're a part of the gas company. I'd offer them six thousand dollars for it because it's got, and that would give you a little bit then to work on it for the first year or two. But anything with a hundred seventy six, you know as well as I wouldn't even think about buying one. Anything yeah. you know for I, myself. And, I was looking at it as a work truck. Yeah, but I don't care what you're going to use it for when it's sitting yeah. tore up over there. Right. It ain't, ain't going to do you no good. And oh, anything with one hundred seventy six thousand miles on it, wore out. I mean, I mean, I can yeah, look further. You look, you look, down, you look, look further, but I don't think we're gonna get nothing for eight thousand dollars nowhere. Well, you know, what would that truck sell for? Um, what you, did it sell for new when it was? New? I don't know what it, what it was new. I can tell you pretty close. What is? What was it new? It'd be above fifty probably. Yeah. There, there, those, those kind of and, and it come off a of state bed, I'm sure. You know, yeah. so that probably it knocked it, that much, probably. That probably knocked it down some because they get they have to they do state beds too because they're part of. Well, I'm not going to vote against these boys. Agree with and that's that's fine, but I think I still th I'll talk I to think you buy a problem. <laughs> I want to know uh, talk to Heath about the truck, the Davis boy. That's his uh, highest assistant drove this truck and he serviced it right and I'm, I'm going to say it's probably the best truck they put out to pasture um, after so many years they take them off the fleet and he told me it was a real solid truck had never given any trouble and he feels like he could get more for that but he's holding it for the city if we want it he said I think I can get sell it for more than I'm offering it to you for I'm not going to vote against it. But I sure, no, like I sure wouldn't buy it for Gene. No, like I sure wouldn't buy it to me either. It wouldn't. <laughs> Two, yeah, it's cool. Well, I mean, it's, it's wore out. I mean, it's wore out. I mean, it's wore out. I mean, I, I mean, I, don't go, miles I just don't, I don't want to go yeah. spend a bunch of money on something that yeah. they're going to be crawling in and out of weed eating and pulling yeah. trailers and stuff. I don't, yeah. I just don't. vote on it today anyway. No, 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 I just bring uh, it to you to, yeah. let's talk about it. I sure won't go again if that's what you want to do, but don't, and about it. Six uh, months coming back. Hey, you know that truck. Well, I hope I'm done when I get this and <laughs> get some people hard. I hope you don't see me for a year. <laughs> Would you see if that's rock bottom? I'll, I'll talk to them. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. Yeah. And check them out. You have to watch them people. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them <laughs> and find out. I All sure right, Chief. They figure it's a good. They figure it's a good place to dump it. Well, well, <laughs> they ain't gonna well, tell you. They ain't gonna tell the you last, if there's the anything. The last three trucks we've got from them, I'm still driving one. Yeah, yeah we bought so, several from. And them. I've had. Oh, it for, I know they used to buy them all. I've had it for. for so was the mayor's just years, bought two from. Uh, he was. As long as we run circuit. Service them, they'll be all right. He's the one that brought it yeah. to me, and I'm the one I'm driving. I've had for six years, and it's got over two hundred something thousand miles on it. But, yeah, we got one from the county. That's eighty something. That's got around two hundred eighty on it. Yeah. I mean, all right, boys, y'all got to be convinced. All right, uh, as long as we got no. you convinced, then we good, ain't we? Let's I don't know. You that's not something that all of us would want. I just, I just don't know anything about truck, but well, I, I know that I wouldn't buy one with that. I wouldn't. And, and if driving, I guess everything I home, I do. <laughs> well, driving it every day and this driving it, yeah. pulling trailers and stuff, you're not driving it every day. Yeah. You know, I mean, that 97 we got, I won't let them drive it because if they get in the wreck, them seat belts don't work. Yeah, I'm going to come looking for my head. Yeah. Well, you know, and I just, I don't want to let them in it. No, we should have had the seatbelts fixed. We wouldn't come, well, we'd come look at your head because you didn't have them seatbelts. Yeah, it's just falling <laughs> apart all the pieces. Fuel, yeah. so, fuel yeah. injected pickups, uh, motors last longer than carburetor type motors. Is that what that is? Yeah. 
you yes. Okay? Yeah. Yes. That makes a big difference yeah, in, the, does, in the life of one. All right, that's all you I just got. Y'all done, you done just, with me? Just do the best you can to get the price down. If you don't, I guess they'll, they'll tell you that they'll buy it anyway. All right. Just, I'll see what I can do. Then you'll, you'll have, if you get it down $10,000, you'll have $10,000 to spend on it. I'll go back to the <laughs> bargaining table. Right. Thank you, Thank you all. all right. let, let me know if you... Yeah, I will. I'll talk to you. Talk to the, I'll get up to the council and talk to you. If we're going to move on this, we'll need to get it on the next okay. agenda. I'll get I'll get up with him in the morning. Otherwise, he's got See to put it up. Right. individuals. See y'all. Okay. Our uh, next item. Um, we've got uh, work going on, if y'all haven't noticed, down south of town today. The machinery's moved in at the assembly site. Yeah. They're moving dirt. Uh, that. That has um, started and we should have a new nice station down there in the next five and a half months completed and up and running. Um, what we've done, we've met with Mr. Sibley when he started to come here and talk to him about our need for developing our interstate. and. Uh, our sites out there, and he's agreed to do that. But in spending this much money, uh, he's gonna need a little bit of help on for the first few years. He's got to fund all this that he's doing. He's gonna need a little bit of uh, tax abatements on some of this building he's doing. And if he agrees to put two stations in Hamilton, I'm gonna recommend that we give him a three year abatement on this station down here, uh, half of his uh, fuel tax, uh, gasoline fuel tax, and half of his internal sales tax off. And if he'll develop the first station out on exit seven, I'd like to give him five years out there. Same deal, 50 and 50, 50% off this and he is going to spend millions of dollars by the time he gets this done. He'll have three or four million dollars of outlay and his and capitalizing these and building them, getting them up and running. And that's a big lick for any businessman. And uh, we don't have anything at Exit Seven. This will give us a chance to get started out there on our development. I'd like to have the council consider this um, and, and the reason I don't want to give as much time down here of course is that we're kind of might be slightly in competition with others that's down there but if he packages this up I think he deserves some help on both three years down there five years down there and He's helping us a lot to get that other exit started in development. And he's, he's spending lots of development money out of his pocket. And I don't know, probably some board money. But anyway, he needs, a, he needs to know, and I think we'd want to put it in writing that all this would have to happen in the next 18 months if we're gonna do this for him, uh, the completion of both stations and where he'll have some obligation to the city to fulfill his part of the bargain. And I'd like to Monday night have this on the agenda so in case he needs this backup to, you know, say to use in his financing package, show a bank that you, well, we're going to have some help through taxation abatements. Uh, I think it would be a real plus if he was even to borrow any money. I, I think he, I think he needs it to get all of his money for both of them. Okay. I think he needs it. And uh, I think that's the only way he can get it. You have to be first strong. Yeah, and I don't think yeah, four million dollars is going to be anywhere about what he's spending. It may be lots more. Oh yeah. I'm saving a lot of money. See, a million dollars right up front. 
more than a million dollars up front for the land. Yeah. yeah. So you know it's going to cost more than three million. To get. And that, and he's got room out there on the land he's bought at Exit Seven to bring some more businesses to town. And oh he's, Lord, yeah. He's looking for at least two more businesses to come in with him out there, and that's why I'd be in favor of this. And uh, I, I think we should work with Tim on this and and help him. Uh, it's we'll be making money from the get go because we're going to be oh, yeah. taking traffic off the interstate oh, out there. Yeah. He'll be making money at this station down here. We'll get, be getting new revenue that we've never had before. Right. Uh, and that's the only way we're going to do it. I mean, he yeah. can't afford to go out there and spend seven or eight million dollars <coughs> and without and put all the bills. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I, I, I'm going to be for that. And, I, and with y'all's permission, I'm going to go ahead and bring that up for a vote. Monday night, which, so we can write him these letters, and we'll have Scott Hunt to word up our letters for us, and we'll review them before we put them in his hands. Uh, the letters we're going to give to make sure it's what we've agreed yeah. on and, and what we've promised, and uh, we'll put it in the minutes of the meeting as to what we've agreed on, so there won't be any misunderstandings. We'll put the time limit on him. Uh, if he don't fulfill the time limit, then we don't fulfill our obligation. We only get one station that's kind of somewhat competitive to the businesses that are here. We won't be obligated to do yeah. the two locations. But if he puts both of them and helps us get started on exit seven, I'm for I'm for happening. Oh yeah, well, that's on uh, small towns. That's about the only way you can get a lot of things now, especially something as nice as what he builds. If you've been up there yeah. and saw what he's got. Yeah, he built nice. first time. Yeah, the everything. I've first been time. in his store there across from Walmart and Russellville. It's a fine layout. <coughs> it's got one of the best delis you'll ever see inside. They can fix you about any kind of food you want there. And I often stop when I'm headed fishing to the Tennessee River yeah. and get me a morning biscuit there, and it's always great. That's, that's what I'd like to talk about on Tim. One other thing, and he's talking to Mr. Clark about uh, an outlet road for, for traffic. He's going to be moving a lot of traffic back onto the main highway there at the red light. And he's wanting to talk to Mr. Clark and get permission to, to go across the back part of that lot and have an exit that's where you can turn some of that traffic out on that side street. And, we may have to assist him a little bit to get a little paving done right there. Oh, it there. Yeah. It's probably uh, about maybe football field length or so. Yeah. Of, um, but we may have to help him on that little service road back there. So that that could fall on us if you know back there. That's not, that won't be on his land, but it'll be on a roadway that's given to him. But he's working on some roadway right now. Well, that's Ken folks, you know. Yeah, maybe that'll work out well yeah. for him. Uh, he's dealing with maybe a cousin or yes, something. Yeah. Maybe they can get that worked out and maybe it'll, it'll help both of them and, and especially help move that traffic that's going to be uh, going in and out of there. It's straight across from Walmart, so there's already naturally a lot of movement there. So they'd like to send as much traffic as you can out of a side street or a and make it easier for the customers to exit. Anyway, uh, that's the only other thing I had on Tim today. And on the alcohol uh, tax matter, <clears throat> we've had some research going on today concerning the taxation that we're collecting. There's questions have been asked as we're collecting our uh, taxes on alcohol, which would be your whiskey type alcohol if we're collecting on beer and wine as well. And I'm hoping Angela may have been able to, she's been trying to make some contacts. Have you found out anything yet? That seems to be the million dollar question. Um, Amy and I have, I've contacted the ABC board. She and I both talked to uh, RDS that collects our uh, taxes for us. And when it's broken down, it does show that we're collecting taxes on like beer taxes on wine and taxes on alcohol. So it's broken down separately. 
Uh, but we, we really can't get clarification on where those taxes are coming from. You know, if it's, if it is a, there's a little more tax on alcohol. It seems to be a separate entity. But on beer and wine, we can't get clarification if that's just the 7% that's coming off of our sales tax. If it's actually just sales tax that we're collecting um, for the for alcohol sales, so that's we're trying to get a little more clarification before I. I have a pretty good idea. That's what it just seven percent. Yeah, it's just very confusing oh, when you we, look at those reports. Because your alcohol and your beer and wine is completely different. My understanding. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this, that's my understanding. This is what on our tax report from RDS it says alcohol tax $9,753.94, beer tax $2,215.13, and wine tax $152.42. That represents one month. That's the month of May. It's broke down in three categories. Yeah. But I don't. What we're trying to figure out is if we're getting more than just sales tax off beer and wine. Mm -hmm. uh, we know we're getting the extra on the alcohol products <coughs> that's called like what we call liquor, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know what we're getting. Uh, I would have thought. You know, that, on uh, I would wine, have thought, you'd have sold more than that. I would have thought that. Uh, Beer would be a bigger seller in volume than, than, liquor. than liquor. Yeah, oh yeah. But we're we're getting lots more tax off of off the liquor, off the alcohol than we are beer and wine. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you know, beer would be the biggest wine. seller. Looks like you'd have. That's the breakdown yeah. for me. And we sure need. And we're them. getting, uh, according to twelve months, we we Angela and I worked on it yesterday. We're getting about eleven thousand three hundred and some odd dollars a month, uh, which is going to put us a little over one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars for the year, uh, and we budgeted one hundred thirty-five thousand for a year on uh, alcohol tax. Uh, well, what? Yeah, and we're trying to figure out a solution and what we could afford to do to give the school some money. And we're thinking about maybe instead of having a referendum and and and, and, and keeping this uh, situation brewing with whether or not the people are taxed, we're just trying to see if we can afford out of the city's budget to give the schools enough to make them okay uh, going forward. Uh, from the city, and, and I kind of thought maybe around 125,000 a year exactly. divided between the three schools mm -hmm. uh, would that's be 40, a nice 000. gift, and and that's 40,000 a year plus 5,000 dollars. Yeah, about, uh, about yeah. 40, yeah. around 42 so, each, or close and, to 42. But Bob, did we also now we need to think about something else. That's just for one year. We'll do that one year at a time because the state is going to come back and do something. And and we may not have to keep doing a lot for yeah. them. Yeah. But if we sit and pass that and let it go on from now on, it'll be like the other taxes that we're... Now the gift yeah. we're talking about, Gene, here is not our security officer money. This is, this is a gift to the schools for their in-class uh, discretionary spending, whatever their need arises. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have to still be obligated well, for the security officers for our portion of it. Whether the county, the, the, the school boards come up with $10 an hour for 180 days for an officer. We don't know if the county's gonna share in that <clears throat> burden or not, but I think the city's gonna get stuck for the the rest well, I, of that I, I didn't. I didn't see it that way. I thought I didn't, I didn't see us giving the school money. To, they got money at all. They don't have money to hire these officers. It's what my understanding that we're going to give this money for. But they're asking for they're asking for money to spend in the classrooms. That's what the, they came yeah. to us for. 
They didn't come for the security officers. This group that's asking for a gift from the city, they're not here for for security officers. Well, that's not the way they I said. The number one issue was safety. Yeah, I, I, I thought I, I thought all the time it was to pay the officers. But now they've come up now with ten dollars an hour. But there's going to be a lot more expense than that ten dollars an hour. Sure. Plus they're wanting to put them on twelve months, and I'm not for that either. I, I'm. They part of these officers. They're going to be part time anyway. You know, if they're going to supposedly we don't need them that when school's out, like right now. <clears throat> but we're all. I'm all. I'm showing up screwed up now. If you think that's going for that, then we're going to have to give them more money for something else. Oh yeah. We, oh, yeah. We, I mean, that's absolutely the fact. They're not asking for this money at all for for security officers. And that's what I thought it was going no. for. Did y'all not think that? <clears throat> I thought it was going to secure. No. That's not, no. But what are they asking for this money just this to is, have to spend? This yeah. is for money to go to each school. Like they're. For whatever they need in classrooms. Uh, it, it's not for security officers at all. But we don't, we don't, we, we don't need to. We're going to have, we're going to have to pay the rest of that probably for a while for the security. So we need to back up a I little think, bit. I think the the gift we're given would be an annual gift of 125000 that comes out of our alcohol tax. And then we're going to have to deal with the security officer year to year. And, and, and I think for the first year, whether the county has been talked into sharing in that bill or not, I don't know. But uh, we're probably going to have to put police officers in the school during the school hours for the first year and we'll accept ten dollars an hour from the county school board toward each security officer well yeah well that all right let's get back to the 125 i think we should give them the 125 and in that 125 they will pay the rest of the ten dollars an hour, whatever it takes for <coughs> police officers, out of that one twenty five and then they can take the other and spend it on school supplies of what they need to. Yeah. Well so that's gonna be a lot more money than they're getting now. Oh Lord, yes. I I never drink I didn't think I I thought we were just hiring, you know, the uh, so that's it, not but, that's not the concept. We can't right did they put a time limit on how long they were willing to give us the ten dollars an hour? I don't see that in the paperwork that I have. Is that what you said? The letter that says that they've come up with a, the ability to, to fund ten dollars an hour to each security officer based on the school year, the the length of the school year, not a year round, not three hundred and sixty five days a year. They they're not offering up any benefits for these officers. The police chief is wanting to put three security officers on our force. And he'll use them for vacations, let them update their training while the school's out, getting ready for next year. But uh, this, this is going to be people that will be on our staff. They'll be on our insurance. They'll be getting benefits, vacation, they'll, they'll be getting uh, the benefits like our other security, our other <coughs> officers get. And uh, we don't know when the state's going to come through. I think they will come through and offer security, but I don't think they'll have it in place for this next school year. I think we just need to pay them for 10 months. Well, and because this is not going to be a regular job for them, this is going to be probably retired officers and part-time officers. If we can find that kind of people. But you're going to be working them full-time if they're there every day, for five days a week. Five days a week for 10 months. Yeah. So you'll have to, to offer them some type of benefits or something. Yeah, the benefits is what we were going to have to pay, was my understanding. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason I say in the 100 25,000 in benefits. I don't know what they'll run. Well, the group that's been coming to our meetings were here for 
They were looking for around $250,000 through some source. Uh, the referendum, the referendum was going to raise between two fifty and three hundred thousand if it passed. Mr. Uh, our principal, who spoke last the other night, our high school principal, Mr. Davis, said that if we could give them the alcohol tax, that that forego the referendum. Yeah. Where? But they're not looking for security officers out of this money. They're looking for classroom money to spend. I thought it was security. I didn't. I didn't. Never dream they. They ought to have money. To... They're saying that, that they don't have the money. That we've been finding twenty-four dollars and eighty-six cents per student. The lowest. That's where we come in. One hundred and thirty-second out of one hundred thirty-seven. And. I, I think we, we need to call him in, and I think 125000 they can use it any way they want to. That's all we can afford right now to give them. That's a gift, and they can use part of it for each one if they want to or whatever they whatever he wants to do with it, but a $125,000 gift, which we're just going to say one year at a time. Because if and if we started and buy and give them that alcohol money, give them all of it, which is about one hundred forty thousand dollars. But what I'm looking at is this: when you're looking at that over the next ten years, that could be up to half a million dollars, or four hundred, three or four hundred thousand. Yeah, I call it that. We, we've never you know, reached. We've never reached more than one hundred thirty-five. No, years. you're not going to now. Yeah. But Hamlet's going to grow. We're looking for Hamlet. Look out here on these streets. What's already happened? We, it's going to grow, and you know they're going. And we be, hope. We hope that all that yeah. happens. Well, and we and don't we're know. We're counting on it. Well, and right now, I think we're all wrong about the tax. I think we're still not getting the tax we should be getting from beer and wine. I think it ought to be more than what we're getting. You know. And there's not been any tax actually put on it. You oh, would think with the hundred sales tax. Yeah. You would think with the hundred and twenty five thousand plus the ten dollars an hour that yeah. they, the states pay it. They, they could get by. Yeah, and have some money left for the the scoop, you know. Tell them that's a, a annual gift. Yeah. yeah for use the time being. Yeah. <laughs> use what they want to use yeah. it for. What have we been given a year to we share thirty percent of this. That's thirty uh, percent of one hundred and thirty-five. What? I'm gonna say it's in the forty something yeah, thousand. Yeah, forty-six thousand. I think. I mean, I'd have to go look to actually give yeah. you the exact amount, but it's okay. in the forties. Yeah, is what we're giving them every year. Okay. I think that's right. So uh, that's money if that you haven't been involved in security. I mean, yeah. they say they bought cameras and all this yeah. stuff and security cameras and stuff, which is good, and I, I'm, I'm, whatever they sent the money for, I'm not concerned about it. I mean, uh, I think it's all been spent for betterment of the schools. and uh, But the money that groups come and seeking is not for, they, they're not looking for security money. Well, that's what we thought, or I thought all the time, that, no. that, that that's, it's not, but it's, it's got to come. This money is not not uh, in well, any way connected. Well, the first thing we got to think of is the security. I know. Because that money, I know. That money. But uh, but what we need to do is is uh, if we're not going to gift the school uh, the money that they're going to need for their classroom uh, things, they're going to want us to declare this election and, and have the election. They're not going to let us declare that election because they know it's not going to pass. They they know they already know that. You think they'd give it up? They they knew, they knew people ain't going to vote on. I don't know about that. Is well, it? not not in not if you voted on the election. What you're talking about doing is voting for sixty two percent of us to pay all the tax, and the ones living outside the city limits don't pay anything. I know, I know that. Ain't nobody going to pass that. Well, if they do, they're a lot dumber than I thought they were. But, but we've already, <laughs> we've already, we've heard from this group. They're either going to want a gift from the city, or they're going to let the, the people vote. Yeah. It's one, one or the other. That's what we're here to decide today, is which way are we going with it? Are we going to let the referendum be held 
Are we going to gift them enough money to not have the referendum? Well, we're going to give them the $125,000. But, but that won't include anything for security. It, and it, they're, but and they're they can if they want to. And the group that came looking for money was looking for money for classroom spending. And they had no concepts of, of hiring officers with this. That was, that was the way I understood it. I heard they wanted to sleep no one yes. issue. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. Well, you know, the principal said I want to build a wall where I can secure my my hallways at the high school. And he, he might use some of this gifted money to build that wall. But the other classroom teachers that's gonna need things for science labs and uh, whatever they're needing for their students that they're not looking that's not the main thrust of this gift is, is security uh, it's about and and if we say it's for security I, I think that's going to be another sore spot I really do you can use fifty thousand dollars of it for uh, their uh, what you're talking about uh, the other 75 for if they going to, I think fifty thousand dollars will pay everything to the police officers except for ten dollars. The fifty thousand dollars would pay the taxes or whatever they have to, you know, whatever they have, and then they'd have seventy five thousand left to do what they wanted to with. That'd be twenty five thousand for each we, school. We can, we can make that available and see if it. If it takes care of the need, I, you know, I, I'm afraid it won't. But I, I'm not unwilling to make that offer. Well, but it, you know, but I, we, it, they would be glad to get. Well, they're getting this other. How much we better paying them? Paying the schools from the alcohol tax. Yeah. About forty something thousand a year. Is the thirty percent thirty percent of it of our monthly? Well, that's forty some thousand there they didn't even get. Yeah, well, see, they'd still and be they getting hundred even yeah. if we. They could still be getting seventy five if, whether they're just getting forty something now, they could get seventy five out of the hundred twenty five, and fifty would go to pay the rest of the ten dollars an hour they're talking about. And it'd just be the taxes or whatever on the ten dollars an hour. Then they cut their shouldn't cost fifty thousand dollars on that. If that's because you're gonna to have to pay that officer probably more than ten dollars an hour. They're willing to pay ten dollars an hour yeah. towards whatever we pay them. And and I know I think Tyler, Mr. Knight, uh, spoke to the county commission and asked them, and I don't know what they're willing to to do uh, if they're going to contribute to it. I've got a pretty good idea. I, 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 have to, I know. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you get to vote on both of them. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Last season, Kenneth. Well, uh, the county commission not going to put anything well, in, and well, I can kind of say their point, too. What we've, uh, what we've got to decide, I guess, is to uh, Decide what we'll put in the in the minutes uh, of our meeting. And we I'd, like, that. I'd like to make this as, as a a gift to the city. Uh, There's no easy solution to this. Nobody wants taxes. Nobody. Everybody wants the schools to be funded, and we can give this money to them. It's more than they're getting now, and they can use it however they want to use it. If they use it, want to use it towards paint and doors, if they want to use it towards officers, that will be their choice. That's the way that was okay. Okay. But, but, when, but when, when, when school pay. starts back, I think I think that there's got to be officers in the school. There needs to be. Yeah, I agree. There needs to be. And, uh, I don't think they need to go another year without them. No, no. Well, and, it's, you've and never had them before, and nothing's ever, and uh, 
I've had teachers tell me it's the silliest thing they ever heard of. If anybody wanted to come in and kill somebody, that would we'll make, that's what's wouldn't make a bit of difference. Only thing we'd get a going over because we didn't have them. But it, they're not going to stop anything. If somebody wants to do that, that and they're going to nut. It's hard to stop them. But you got to, it's like I told somebody to talk about it. I said, well, if we don't have them there, it'll be our fault if something did happen and we've well, got to help furnish them. The, the what you got to look at, too, is that if a person's coming to a school with those intentions, if he knows up front that there's someone there that's going to meet him at the door, possibly, and take him out before he's able to do what he wants to do, he might not show up. They don't need to do it. That's yeah. Yeah, he'll that's do it some other way. That's a deterrent. Yeah. And and I, like you say, anybody with those intentions usually finds a way Find to find a way to do it. Yeah. But I never understood if I didn't go to a football game. Yeah. They killed twenty for anybody to stop. Them. Yeah. We need no. Well, there's already been some shootings at football fields. There's already been some gunplay around the state this last year at stadiums and, and they heightened the security uh, before some of the games and it's a sad thing that people have got this gun thing and the mentality that goes with it to, to take someone's life and, and but it's something we got to be aware of and it's happening closer to home believe me I mean it, it, we used to hear about it way off somewhere well, it's happened in Florida a couple of times this last year, and uh, Florida's not so far from Alabama. No, I'd be, I'd be scared of somebody getting killed out here on some of these roads we've got in town instead of getting killed in the school. And we can't do a thing about that, paving those roads and things that need to be paved, that haven't been paved. Who well, can you contact right. to figure if this, they would accept this 125000 That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, I think that I think if it if it comes to them as a gift, where they can decide how to spend it, I think that they'll accept it. But if we say it's going to be for your security officers, uh, I'm not sure that with that stigma on it, I'm not sure it's going to be a satisfying type of gift. Well, it'll be actual partly for the security officers because the other people are going to pay ten dollars an hour and i think these part-time policemen that's forty dollars a week four hundred dollars a week that a retired police officer would be making sixteen hundred dollars a month while plus, school his, going on. plus his retirement he's retired yeah plus he'd already be growing yeah that's what i'm saying so it'd just be a it'd be a i know if i was in that business i'd be glad to to work for full, not doing anything. They are able to negotiate just a little bit with us. Yeah. Well, there's going to be on security officers. There's going to be some regimented things. They don't have a job description. They won't be just sitting looking at the door all day. They'll be in the hallways. They'll be making <coughs> sure the bullying's not going on, the drugs not going on, the, uh, any kind of abuse not going on, and. Uh, but, young people behaving this is going to be what they're about plus security for the campus so i don't have a job description everybody that takes yeah. this job on pretty much he'll know what his assignments are and i imagine the rules for a security officer will be kind of handed down by the state uh, as to what their responsibilities are yeah, their responsibilities won't be anything to do with the students <coughs> but you're sure about that that's the issue Whoever thought of that grammar's good. Their only thing that they're doing is for the protection of the students, not telling them what they can do and can't do. Well, they wouldn't be qualified for that, are they? Wouldn't think. But whatever y'all, but I don't well, see where we can. Well, let's see if we can, let's see if we can gift the schools this money that we're talking about and, and make this issue be okay. Um, it, it, it's a pretty hot topic right now, and as you can see, it's something that we need to find a solution to. Uh, we, we don't need to have our whole community mad and uh, lots, of, uh, lots of things going on 
And I don't think any of you knew we were going to be approached for the referendum for new taxes when you took your office, but we have been. So finding a solution would be a good thing if we could solve it and make, make most of the people feel better about the situation and, and it's come through the city. And we'll do, we'll do without some things to make people happy. Uh, we, we're going to give away some money that we could very well use in the scope of what we do in the way of services. But we'll, we'll do this and see if it'll help out the situation. Because the schools say they need some more money. They're not getting adequate funding. That's what that teacher said. I spent money out of my pocket for these children. Yeah. She read that list of things that she had done, about 10 different things that cost money out of her own pocket. And I think a lot of them in, the, in that group were saying, we did the same thing. So it might be time for the city to come with some money. And, and maybe it'll be enough. I mean, I hope it is. So if we started doing that, we wouldn't do the 30% no. that we're doing now, it would we, change We'll be this. given a set amount every year. Okay. Uh, and and let them be, do what they... Yeah. This would, be, this would be our annual gift to the city. Okay. Good. And, uh, and we hope the security matter gets taken care of by the state altogether, but I'm afraid that I'm afraid the city's going to wind up being, at least for one year, somewhat obligated to help with the security officers. And, and I'm not sure of that, but I'm just thinking out loud with y'all, and, and I don't know. Well, let's see what, let's find out the $10 an hour. Let's find out exactly, somebody's got to know that we'll pay for 10 months if they're going to give $10 an hour. How much more money is it going to cost us to put them in the school? Three of them. Let's find out and then go from there. Yeah. And if we have to, then let's turn. If we have to, we can give them one hundred fifty thousand dollars. The limit. That'll be our get. That'll be our liquor tax and maybe five, few more dollars. Not much. It'll be probably be that much this coming year. It'll improve that much. And I'll try to get some clarification on the alcohol yeah, grow as soon as I can get with it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It'll grow every year. Yeah. I really think you're going to find, I can't understand uh, this This was voted in in what, 12? When yes. did we go with it? I can't believe that we've gone from 12 to 18 and not collected the maximum that we're allowed to collect. I think we have collected. There's just some stipulations there was some, that I there think was something are different. Mistake. So about the beer and wine, yes, versus and the liquor. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. And and you had to do something to be able to tax the mm -hmm. wine and the beer. And I, as I know of, we the city has never done anything. That'd be something fun of that, right there. Yeah. Well, it was in 12, like mm -hmm. September of 12 is when we adopted the, the ordinance. So. That would be a real strange happening if we've gone five or six years not collecting what we're supposed yeah. to be collecting. But anyway, Bob, I don't know how they felt, but this is the way I feel about it. And I'll go along if y'all feel different. I'm not, you know what I'm saying. I say let's come up with a dollar amount. If we don't find out about, about that, a dollar amount and set those people with schools down talking to us, the dollar amount we're going to give them for security and the other the money that they, like they're getting $40,000 now, see, yeah. or whatever it is. And the dollar amount that we're going to give to them each year for the next two years until this thing gets settled on what the state's going to pay. Or we'll give it each year for two years until the state settles. The state might settle it next year, probably so. If they say $150,000 or whatever, that's let's get a money that we're going to give 
and it'll come out just like yeah. we're paying on something else. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? I'll, we're going to give them so much money, they do what they want to with it. Yeah. To plan our budget, I think it needs to be a set figure. That's what I mean. Yeah. And, and let them do, let the school personnel be the ones to decide where they want to use it. If That's they right. want to use it for security, they want to use it to buy school supplies, whatever they want to do with it, we're going to give it to yeah. them. A certain amount. Well, something else I had in mind too is this, uh, when you're talking about that $24 per student, Yeah. was that count what we're paying? I don't believe that hat was in there. No, it wasn't in there, no. They don't count that anything. Well, yeah, okay. that's, that's where it's, it's not counted out. that way. That's, but where, if, that's where they're getting the but, numbers. But if we just, I'd rather just say their alcohol money is $155 right now. Say next year we're going to give you this alcohol money. It's $150,000. And y'all sit down and show us what it's going to be spent for. And you can put it where you want to and show us where it's going to be spent. What you going to do with it. I and then we'll decide the next year, you know, if after the state decides what they're going to do, see, for two years we'll do that each year, but we're not going to do it continually until we find out what the state's going to do. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We could be giving it now and they don't even need it to just be wasting it. But we need to know what the state's going to do before we obligate ourselves to more money. Because the county schools and my kids, I've got them in there and my kids are teaching. That's my responsibility, but it's not the city's responsibility. It's the county's. And, well, they're, you know. They're, they're paying the payroll and, and they're paying certain things. They're, they're paying the light bills. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but what they're saying is that for classroom needs, the state just don't hand over enough money to them to take care of the what the teachers need to buy for their classes to work. And, and the, often parents are having to be asked for money uh, other than taxation. They're having to come up with uh, Kleenex, tissues, wipes, uh, notebooks, pencils, all kinds yeah. of stuff. But that's not it, Bob. The state is supposed to furnish that. That's what the state is supposed to be doing. But you know, and, and I know that's what I'm saying, but the state should, some pressure should be put on somebody to do their job. I know. You know, we're in school, we yeah. had to pay a fee. Yeah, yeah. Every year now, yeah. after that. And if we, if we, we, Most of the parents would tell you they're still have to spend paying. a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. She just yeah, had one to graduate, she knows how much money she spent besides, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's not... Believe me, it's still costing parents. Still, there's needs they're saying that are not being met. That's why they're down here asking for these funds. And, uh, well, if you give them a million, million dollars a year in five years, they'd be here asking for another million. I mean, I know. I, 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 that, that station was, was one way to raise it, but that's, uh, that's a sore spot. A lot of people don't feel like it's being done in a fair way, and and... and and I can't say it's, it's totally in my scope that we have kids from all over coming and, and just the city folks being taxed, you know, the people that own property in the city. So it's, it's hard for me to get my hands around what is fair. If we give it out of our treasury, or out of our budget, I think the city's done its part. Yeah. If we if we come with a yeah, nice gift for the school, yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, I do too. But I don't think the group that came was looking to pay a security officer out of this gift we're going to get. Well, I think they, I think they expected. You know, I think you that it had to be paid if it had to be paid. There wasn't nobody to pay it, but out of that money. Well, they're going to come and ask you. It doesn't make any difference. They don't care about you or me or him or whatever we we were elected to see first to the city business yeah. and if we've got to we got to take care of our kids right. i'm not against them. don't get me but we've got to take care of city business i, I understand i told yeah. them the other night yeah. we didn't know it's going to get in the tax business or yeah this. it's or road, something yeah. that's been handed to us well the roads are falling apart you hear it every day yeah <laughs> i well, mean and then they're coming us to take care of so what who 
but they should be on is the board of education and the superintendent right. to get something done, not the city mayor and the city council. We didn't run to run the schools. If we're gonna run the schools, I'll run it a heck of a lot different than what they're running. Yeah. Well, I would I would say yeah. that. This is a surprise to all the council yeah. and the mayor that we're facing this, but but the group that's come is trying to show us their need. I'm not saying that that the need's not there. I, I don't know a lot about the finances yeah. team. No, I don't they're, they're, All these teachers are claiming they don't have enough money to run their classes the way they need to be run. Well, they need to be on the... The state superintendent of education. Yeah, the state. I, I could somewhat Excuse agree with that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Thank y'all for attending today. Okay. It's five o'clock. We're gonna adjourn.